Cato. Finally friggin' Friday, okay? Meet Dovey. Say hi. So this is Dovey, and she is my five-year-old purebred Maltese. had Dubby since she was four weeks old so I have literally gone through pretty much everything that you could go through from the beginning stages so I wanted to come and talk to you guys about some things specifically with Maltese that I I feel like most people don't know that I didn't know when I first got her <laughs> that are very important in making your decision if you want to have a dog because um, something that people don't know is that Maltese um, statistically are one of the most like abandoned dogs that really kind of makes me sad of all the dog breeds. So I just want to put this out there and just put some things that I wish that I knew before I got Debbie that can maybe be helpful for you in um, choosing your dog, having a Maltese, care for your Maltese, and you know y'all just chilling okay so if you see Dubby right now as you can see she kind of looks like a terrier in my opinion her hair is very short and if you follow me on social media you guys know that her hair usually isn't this short which brings us to responsibility number one when it comes to having a Maltese. Maltese are hypoallergenic dogs which means they are great for people who have dog allergies they also don't shed a lot of people um I always wonder that because Maltese are typically like long haired dogs, but they don't shed. I mean, even though I, that, that's dust. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, there's a hair right there, but they really don't. Like, unless like she's, they're going through something, they're having skin issues, Maltese don't shed, they're hypoallergenic, and they're fine pretty much for most people with allergies. So compared to like short haired dogs or dogs with like, I think it may be called like one coat, um, they are dogs who require a lot of maintenance on the fur side um, you know a lot of brushing which I am uh, very bad about doing <laughs> my dog is very rambunctious so um, their hair can get tangled and matted and dirty Maltese are white dogs so um, keep it in mind if you're somebody like me when I first got Debbie I was really anal about keeping her white all the time as you you know go on I feel like with having a dog you just don't stress about it as much I um, as you can see, her paws right now are brown because she goes outside. Dubby is mainly an inside dog, and that's a, a personal preference, but she does go outside like at least once a day. So um, they will get dirty, and maintaining their fur is a thing. You're going to have to, you know, factor in grooming. If you are going to groom yourself, you're going to have to learn how to do that, or you're going to have to find a good groomer. So the second thing they don't tell you about the Maltese breed is how yappy they are. Maltese are characteristically yappy dogs. They bark. They are very high strung. They bark at everything. Dubby will bark at ice falling in the freezer. She will bark at something driving by out the window. That actually is a trait of Maltese. Now, granted, I have seen some Maltese out here that are just like little angels. They seem like they don't make any noise. They're not really hyper. I really wish I knew what those Maltese moms do, but Dubby, and last but not least, and I specifically say this one for last because it is the most important thing that I feel like you should know before you get a Maltese, is that they are super, super hard to house 
break, train, get them not to pee on your okay? It's just something about Maltese breeds. It's it's out there. You can Google it. It's just, again, I didn't know this. I just wanted a pretty dog, okay? Um, it's out there. Maltese are characteristically hard to house train. They they just they just are. I don't know what it is about this breed, but they just feel like they're supposed to pee on your stuff. And if it was one thing that I could change about this dog and one thing that I fight with this dog and get upset with this dog and have the most issues with this dog is is her peeing on everything like don't get me wrong like she will go months weeks without peeing on anything and then she'll just get in a mood an attitude not get enough attention you know anything and she'll just pee on whatever she sees fit she has peed on my bed she has peed on my furniture she has peed on my carpet she has peed on me like she has literally literally peed on me she can go at a command like i can tell her to go pee and she will go to her puppy pad or if we're outside and we are and i tell her that she will literally stop what she's doing and go in the grass and go pee so she is very trained with commands she knows you know to go to bed you guys <laughs> you guys have heard me tell her to go to bed stop Okay. That's usually what I do when she's getting on my nerves. I just want her to go sit down and be still. I'll tell her to go to bed. She'll go get in her bed. Tell her to go pee. She'll go to her spot. Like, if we're in the house, if I tell her to go pee right now, she will walk away from me, go to her puppy pad, and go pee, and then I can just go pick it up and throw it away. My recommendation um, to those who are getting a Maltese, um, because I know somebody is going to say this in the comments, well, you really shouldn't train your dogs to be house dogs or go on puppy pads in the, for the long term at all. And I agree with that. That's just how I chose to train her because when you, um, train dogs to go on puppy pads in your house, then in their mind, they think that, um, anywhere in your house is fair game, even if they know that the puppy pad is theirs. Something about letting them go in your house, period, um, teaches them that it's okay to pee anywhere. So we are slowly breaking her out of using puppy pads just all together. It's just what I trained her with. That's what she learned. That's what she knew. And that's what worked well for us for like the first three years of her life. We really didn't have any issues with that. And what I'm noticing is we only started having issues with her using puppy pads when I started to move her, changing her environment. You know, we moved across the country. I was moving to Birmingham and moving to different apartments in Birmingham. Changing her, her apartments and her environments every year, I think, is what really like started the whole like her peeing on everything type of thing and when I was doing like research and things like on what could be the causes of course changing their environment can be the cause but also it is characteristic of Maltese to just be really hard to housebreak so it just could be a combination of both but this is just to give people who may have a Maltese puppy <laughs> A little encouragement that if you're having a hard time housebreaking your Maltese, that actually it, it probably isn't anything that you are doing wrong. It's just they are just characteristically a little stubborn in that area. And I think when I first like housebroke her and trained her, it probably took us a good eight months or so before I was just confident that I could leave her in the house outside of her crate and she don't pee on anything and there are still days now where I don't feel that confidence and I'm like you know what girl I'm only gonna be gone two hours just go ahead and go on in your crate you got plenty of room in there you know you're fine I'll hit you when I get back okay everything else is just kind of you know walk when we feed them we play with them we love them. but that's it for this week's finally Friday but I wanted Fridays to be the days that I brought things you know that weren't necessarily beauty related and so that's what finally Fridays are going to be so if you enjoy like the mix-up if you enjoyed this video if you enjoy a little variety you know what I'm saying if you just like my personality we thought W was cute if you like my intro music, <laughs> any of that, girl, any of that, bro, 
cousin, all y'all, all y'all. If y'all enjoy my content, of course, make sure that you subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment down below so you know I can speak to you. You know what I'm saying? So I can know that you stop by and I can show you some love, okay? So I love you guys so much, and I will see you all in the next upload. Stand late, stand late. If life's about to be a cold war, I'm the hero that they asked for. Great, great, great. I'm about to go, I'm about to go. Great, great.